Hi, I'm Suzanne Bailey, president of the Columbia Wetland Stewardship Partners, or CWST. CWSP is an organization that was formed by local organizations who were concerned about the environment and whose vision it is to protect the wildlife and wetlands of Columbia Valley. In 2021, CWSP started a study to assess the hydrology and ecology of the 26,000 hectare Columbia wetlands with the support of Environment Climate Change Canada, Columbia Basin Trust, and the Regional District of East Kootenays Local Conservation Fund. Columbia Valley is 180 kilometers long and is located between the Rocky Mountains and the Purcell Mountains in Eastern British Columbia. The region has experienced increased warming and decreases in precipitation, which has made the local people concerned about the loss of our wetlands. And all the projections suggest that climate change impacts will increase in the future. In 2023, CWSP and partners started investigating the hydrology and ecology of small wetlands on the western benches of Columbia Valley. The goal for all our work is to mitigate some of the effects of climate change and maintain fully functioning high biodiversity wetlands in the region. Our first year of research aimed to understand the number, status, and hydrology of the wetlands on Crown land in the western uplands of Columbia Valley and to restore five to 10 hectares of these wetlands. To begin, we looked at the Freshwater Atlas, a provincial open source database that has mapped wetlands, lakes, streams, and other important freshwater characteristics. Within our study area, which extends from canal flats to spill machine, the Freshwater Atlas identifies 479 wetlands and 349 lakes. In 2023, we visited 371, or that is 45% of these lake and wetland polygons, either via drone or in person. While some of these systems remain healthy and wet, we observed an astonishing number of dry features that are now grown in with shrubs and conifers. We found that many of the dry features were remnant wetlands from old beaver activity 100 years ago. Wetlands that were once dammed up creeks are now channels flowing through small gaps in old decomposed dams that are only visible as dirt mounds, often overgrown with trees. We have selected and taken more detailed measurements at seven potential restoration sites, totaling 39 hectares of mapped wetlands on the upland benches. Some of our measurements include the profile of the beaver dam we will be repairing. Bathymetry, stream flow, water quality, mapped vegetation communities, and the composition of vegetation plots. We have now submitted permit applications to the provincial government so we can repair these old beaver dams and increase the amount of water being stored on the landscape. Our restorations will be completed using beaver dam analogs a technical term that means we will mimic the natural style of the beavers themselves. Once permits are in place and we can proceed, we estimate we will reflood 13 hectares, which will provide an important open water habitat for resident and migratory birds, as well as an important source of drinking water on a drying landscape. In conclusion, we hope these restored beaver dams will retain water on the landscape, provide fire breaks for wildfire, enhance the biodiversity and wildlife, and mitigate some of the effects of climate change that we have been experiencing. We thank our community partners and funders for all the support that they give us.